One last push, Mrs. Killick. Ah, there you are. It's a beautiful baby boy. Oh, I'll call him Neil. One day he'll be Prime Minister. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, for f sake, stop the camera. <laughs> My eyes are fully open to my awful situation. I'm increasingly unable to conceal my desperation. If you ask what I believe in, I have simply no idea, which is why I'm rather given to this verbal diarrhea. What I'd really like to do is go back home and have a cup, because I know that Mrs. Thatcher's gonna have me for a supper. As for economic policy, I bar as any hatter, but I'll never be elected, so it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Now it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Economic policy is bad as any hatter, but you'll never be elected, so it really doesn't matter. I'd fight and die for my country. We'll see if that can be arranged. There's a doctor in the house, but no nurses in the hospital. Hey, listen, man, I'm bad. Yes, as leader, you certainly are. <laughs> push it, push it real good, Cecil. The Labour Party lumbers me with complicated cases such as whether I intend to close down all those US bases but yes. then even my opponents all agree that I am charming which no. is quite the only sense in which I'll find that I'm disarming no. and when I make my speeches I am desperately praying that there's somebody who'll tell me what on earth it is I'm saying yes. by particularly rapid and intelligible part of it isn't generally heard and if it is it doesn't matter! <laughs>